Hello everyone, my name is Soulmonger, and I'd like to welcome you guys back to the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Last time, I made you walk the plank, our matey. And this time, we will scrub and swing around the ship and see monkeys and parrots. And lots of sand, because we are on the sand ship. And I got the bow and arrow last time. I haven't actually fired it yet, but I do plan to. I do plan to one of these days. And you can draw it. Ooh, what is this? You can draw it with the C stick and bring it back. Ooh, nice. Okay, so it looks like you can draw it with the C stick or you can also just shoot it with A, which is also very easy. But maybe if there's like a power shot, you maybe have to draw it back. So I am on my way to outside here on the poop deck. And I'm looking for something to hit with this bow and arrow. More specifically, the arrow part. So let's look around here. I know they showed me like a little glowing purple doohickey. So we were looking for one of those. Somewhere up, I believe up top, but I am not exactly sure. Let's look and see. I'm guessing it would be over in this area. So let's look over here. Oh, there it is. Alright, so let's bring our bow out. And you can actually just drop back by holding the A button as well. Boom! Nice. And we got a time shift crystal. Yes. Master! I have important information for you. You and your percentages. Percentiles. Pi. Pi. AKA Phi. Time shift stone. Oh, I can't talk right now. Hold on. Let me get a drink quick. That always helps. Alright, so we need to impact the ship. Not the ship, the crystal. And there's only one way to do that, and that's to hold, I believe, this down and hit this up top here. That's full maximum strength. And we did that, and boom. We got ourselves a boat. We're giving boat rides. Free boat rides on my ship. What's this guy doing? Oh, he's locking that. No turning back now. Locking the door, too. Looks like we're going to have ourselves a duel. Looks like somebody's shooting arrows. Arrows at me. Where, where from, though? Up top here. Let's, let's own this guy up top. Oh, what well, nice. There is no reason to let it go anyways. Free arrows! They're coming from the sky! Where are you, buddy? And you! What? Is this an arrow duel? Right in the face! He just blocks it. He's got like a shield on. Alright, let's grab this arrow. Bow and arrow? This is sweet. Oh, that's a one-hit kill, too. Nice. Let's see if we can bust this out. Boom! Right in the head! Right in the forehead, and there's a cheetah underpants. <laughs> nice, we got the ornament skull. We have a lot of stuff now, so upgrades are pretty much happening. They're going down. I'm doing those in-between scenes. The one thing that I do not have is that top. Let's see if I can just shoot this guy quick. Boom! Owen. Oh, all these guys are required to wear a cheetah underpants. It's like one of the pirate requirements. It's like eye patch, check. Oh, bow and arrow, ten arrow, check. Pig legs, check. Parrot, check. Cheetah underpants, check. Oh, yep, you're in. Alright, so we can climb up this... Oh, what's this here? We can climb up that ladder. What else can we go? We can't go back in the door, it didn't look like. Can we? No, we cannot go. Let's get it off. So we got a ladder option there and a ladder option on the left side. So we're just going to pick one of them. I think they're going to lead us to most likely the same place. Yep. You and you stop it. These guys are really weak, these arrow guys. And I can only hold 20. I probably will be able to get an arrow bag later on. There's a door with a key thing. Probably should have saved those just in case I need them later on. And I can't go up there. Let's see if I can finish this guy off up here. 
Yep. And let's finish this guy off too. Don't want any competition. I want to be the captain. Actually, I probably want to save a couple of these guys to do my bidding. But too late. There is a boat of some sort. And actually, let's climb up this. Well, we can't climb up that. Stop it, Link. Stop it. All right. Over here we go. Sorry, I'm kind of waffling here. I see this huge ladder and I can't resist. Oh man. All right. Okay. Go, go, Link. Go. All right, made it to the top. Very. Oh, this guy has no idea. Spin attack! Oh, just spoke, I guess. That guy got owned and then he went down. Nice. That did something. Not sure exactly what that did. Well, finally they hit me. It was about time. I'm beginning to question their aim. Their aim's like a movie. Like when there's bad guys are shooting after you, they just can't hit. I thought Family Guy did an awesome interpretation of that once, one time, when they just had bad guys shooting everywhere. Well, these guys are just so evasive, and they're just running in a straight line, and no one can hit them. But I'm a pretty good shot with a bow and arrow. I am not missing. Let's hit this thing here. Alright, so we did something to do something over there, where we actually were before. So that's good. That's good news. What happens when I come over here? What happens if I grab this? Whoa. Okay. Alright. Let's look down here quick. That's where that I got the treasure chest. That's where the bowl was. So let's run over here. Nothing's over here. I still kind of wanted to see what that ship did. So let's... Let's uh, slide back over this way. Oh man, that had to hurt. That is two broken ankles right there. We're just gonna walk it off, because we're awesome. We are just fine, just walking it off. And, boom, let's lower this ship. I don't know what that's gonna do for us. But it gives us an extra boat if we need to escape quickly if fire is set. Not good. Didn't want to take the plunge. I do want to, however, land on this boat and see what happens. There seems to be a door here. Of some sort. Wait, what is that? No, nope, it's not a door. What is this thing? Give it a skyward strike. I doubt this will do anything. But nothing. Okay. There is a ladder right there. And I'm jumping off again because I enjoy the water and the refreshness that it brings to my body. Yes. Alright, so let's go back down here. Drop down. Let go. We're gonna walk off the front. No we aren't. Doesn't allow you to. What? The deuce. Alright, so, back up we go, and I notice there's an edge on the back of the ship there now that I look at it, so we'll have to check that area out as well. So we do need a key to get into that, and I believe we can also climb back up here and get to the top of the other side, which maybe has a solution to our problem over by the small lifeboat. I never understood why they call those a lifeboat. They, could, they should be the, oh crap, our ship is burning down boat. Because usually, when you're using that, you are on the run for some reason. Alright, so we're up here now. What would be the reason to get up higher, I wonder? There's gotta be some reason. I think I got right in the nose. Alright, he's gonna bring me this down here. Ooh, there is, so I can twist that. That way I can at least... No! Well, at least I can check out this area. 
Nice crest. Nice decorative piece there. Alright, down here I go. I got seven arrows left. Alright, so I can successfully go over to that other side this next time. And I'm actually surprised at the music selection in this particular castle that I'm on right now because it doesn't feel like pirate music to me. Maybe it's not supposed to. Okay. I gotta bring this back over here. I can see this being an issue if you do run out of arrows, because I have six left, so I honestly do not want to fall anymore here. And we have an Ethan sighting. He is down here looking at me funny. Ethan, grab a chair and pull it up and over, and you can hang out while we watch. We are in a pirate ship. I am the one who went on a quest to find and kill. Oh, well, it's pretty extreme. And we are. Alright, we have made a pirate walk a plank, and we got an arrow. A bow and arrow, I should say, so far in this quest, Ethan. And I'm about to do something very cool. I'm gonna stick my sword into this hole. And we're gonna twist this clock somehow. We're picking the lock. There we go. Press A, there we unlocked our time shift stone so we can get back into where we wanted to. Link, good job, Veep. Nice, it's a pirate guy, he came up. Now the ship looks just like it used to. Hoo Weep. That makes me so happy. Now I just need you to go rescue my crew, Reap. I'm pretty sure they're being held in the brig inside the ship. Berserked. These guys make some funny noises. So he's going to point out where his crew is. And that's basement level 2. So we will mentally take note of that. It's still pretty dangerous in there. So I'll just wait in the boat. Zert. You can do it. Haven't really successfully gave that guy a voice yet, because I don't really have one for him. I'm not too sure if he's a robot or a pirate. I think he's both, so he's a a rorit, I believe. Wait, what did I just do that for? You have to be hanging on to No, you just have to hang on to it, and we'll bring it back up. Okay, so we're gonna grab onto our holy system here. Let's see what's happening over on this side when we drop down. So I'm hoping there'll be treasure of some sort here. I definitely need arrows. Oh, they give me bombs, of course. There's a claw shot spot I just saw. Arrows. Wait, do I have an empty? Oops. I gotta check if I have an empty bottle here. Bottle, 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 bottle. This one. Nope, I already have a fairy in a bottle, and I have some other stuff, so I'll just take the fairy for good measure. And two hearts. Yes, and I got two hearts with that. And we got our tough beetle. We're gonna. Oh no, not, we're not gonna use the beetle. We're gonna use the claw shot. Let's see what happens here. Alright, we're gonna let go over here. Ooh, here's something. And I believe I saw a treasure over to the other side. down. Claw shot onto it. It's even don't walk. And there is butterflies over there. Let's see if we can Okay. And what is in the shiny yellow chest with the... Shiny yellow chest with the color blind? Yes. Oh, yes. Nice. Piece of heart. I think we have three. Just one more. Yep, we have three. Just one more. Perfect. So that's really not what part of... Song? That's really not part of the quest too much. But we have butterflies over here, so... Nice, we got one of these, so we will draw rupees on this after you skyward strike it, and then we'll get rich off of it. You don't really get too rich off of these. We'll see how much we actually do get. We have 608 to start, 
So, watch me draw, because I'm an awesome drawer of the rupee. That is my rupee. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, you don't get that many. So, about 20. <laughs> Give or take. Actually, it's kind of random on the hearts. Ethan just, I don't know if you guys can hear him because he's kind of far away from the mic, but he said you get a lot of hearts if you draw a lot of hearts. Last time I drew hearts, you guys witnessed it. I think I was only like three or four that came out, which was rather low for the amount of hearts that we have and that we are currently carrying. So this is kind of like a little side quest within a big overall pirate ship quest. Arr. And down we go. Alright, so. I wish we had some more arrows because we desperately need arrows. And we still can't get down that ship because nothing happened when that came up. Ooh, arrows in these boxes, hopefully. And there we go. So we are going back in here. We got some arrows and we're going to help out his crew. Hopefully they'll just keep giving us arrows. No, they will not that time. But we are full out on arrows. They give you quite a bit when you pick that up. And let's save it up here. Bird statue, my favorite time of the day is hanging out with Mr. Bird. Yeah. All right, where are we going? We are either going straight or we are going down the chute. I believe we're going to go down to B1 and make our way to B2 eventually. First, let's get the treasure chest. And that's already... Ethan, where have you been? That treasure chest has already been. We already got that. It's not blue. It's green. It's the, col it's the color green when you get them. He's referring to this chest. It's green. Alright, this was where you guys saw me draw the hearts before. So, I wanted to kind of look over here. And it's, this is still a blank wall. It looks suspicious to me, so I just want to play a little bit of a song here. And the music did change once we got in here, which is kind of interesting. Because it was different on the outside of the ship. So, that is very cool. I love the different music that they have in Zelda. I really appreciate the time and effort they put into this game every time. You know you're going to get an awesome adventure. Ah, yeah, you scared me too, buddy. But not as much as I should scare you. Alright. You know what? Go. Bye -bye. See you later. And hasta la vista, baby. See you wherever dead monsters go. Okay, we never go where you go. Yes, we don't want to. There is a treasure chest right there. So let's look at our quick kick gander in a map. Let's see if we can get to it. Wait, why is Fi talking to me now? These guys, I'll tell you. Boom. It's a lot easier just to use your arrow. Your arrows are awesome. What's up, Fi? Yes, sir, look up. Oh, yeah. So I can hit the time shift stone. Yep. Good call. Good call, Fi. Alright, so we can do that. And though, there's barrels right there so that we can refill our arrows afterwards. Where is this thing? Can't even see this. Am I looking the wrong? Yes, I am. Oh, what a shot! So now we can get whatever is in this blue chest. The color, turquoise actually. And we open it up with brown, bright eyes, actually blue eyes. I am so colorblind right now. And we got the dungeon map! Yeah. yeah! And it shows rooms that we have not been to, so that'll help us in our journey. I think it just showed somewhere you could lock in that room. Turn, turn that, turn the lock in. Right there, check that. <laughs> Alright, and we pull this down so we can get back in here if we need to. These were too lazy to hit the shaft. But no, we do want to hit the time shift cube, I believe, again, because we've already explored this fully. And I have a feeling that we're going to have to be 
very aware of our ceiling areas in this game here. So, let's grab three filler arrows, perfect. Just waste one right away off the bat, because that's what I do. And break those, because I don't like boxes any longer. I'm against barrels. Barrels are evil, and let's go ahead and get a real precise shot through here at perfect timing. Oh, nope. okay. Oh, you can kill an enemy. Nope. Come on. I think you can change the time zone that will be Alright, let's check out the time zone. Let's see if we can go influence that fan. And bang. Alright, that is why we wanted to pull that lever. Because we will go in here. Oh, that's sand. I don't have. Oh, wait a second here for my green bar to come all the way back. And then travel through the, the deep sand. I don't know how you're in the ship in the middle of there. Where do you, where do you sink to if you would sink into that? To like the bottom floor? Like. Really? Maybe you do. Hmm. Questions now we need to answer. Boom. Got that. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Alright. Where did that open now? That opened this. So let's check it out without the time shift on. And there's an amber relic here. Grab these. I got like a gazillion of them. Thirty-five, thirty-five, thirty-five. That's some bad. Man, I don't need that heart. Okay, we got stuff on that. There's a block here. Ooh, okay. All right, so we're gonna push this block. Like Ethan is suggesting. I'm pretty sure you guys probably cannot hear what he's saying. He's pretty far away. And then we're all going to step down here and shoot into this area. Maybe. Maybe not. You have to shoot from the I'm guessing... Well, was there... Is there a ceiling up here? There is a ceiling. Alright, so we gotta go hit the time zone. Time shift zone. Time shift. What, what am I talking about? The time shift stone. So that we can do something there. Make it. Oh no, it's the first time I ever didn't make it. I should just end up at basement three. Or end up here. Alright, here we go. Yes, Nintendo Logic. Alright, so we're always real tired, but you would be too if you just ran through quicksand and survived. And up y'all. All right, so we are back to reality. Everything's all colorful and bright. Back to the future. That's what we're back to. And arrows. Nice. Can you use some of those? Stop wasting it. Okay. And we can make it through here. So let's do this. Let's kill these pirates right away. We'll just arrow them quickly. I'm gonna throw an arrow at them. Boom. Not with not with a full power. So it takes two arrows. Is there nothing I can shoot through over here? Is that something? Yep. Oh yeah, you have to hit the switch Oh, is that something? I wonder if I messed up here. I really didn't see anything. No, that's a gear. That gear we will put our sword in once we get in there. That's what that does. And... I wonder, will this stay down now? Nope, it'll just come back up. 
Check out the rest of the ship quickly. Whoa, wait. Is that going here yet? No, I think it was blocked off. be like the master at pushing blocks because he always yeah. is pushing and pulling blocks in every game it, nice I that is where we were outside earlier so that is going to open up opportunities for us to go off the oh my gosh the fire is burning our big ship we must resort to the little one boat and that is the other room isn't it yeah. no that's a different but you can still put your sword in it. There's a different section, and there is a switch in that one that we can pull on eventually, and I noticed a ceiling as well. So let's go out here and see what's happening down here. So we'll have to check out the one to the left as well, but we'll check out this one first. What is on the left one? Nothing, it's just a window? Just a window on the other side. It might be so, where are we going here? Ooh, a little secret area. A thinner door than usual. Scary. Ooh, now we are below. Right in the butt, we will aim because it hurts the most. This guy's got, uh, what, what is that? A zebra underwear on. Oh, that's where we're wearing zebra underwear, not following orders with the cheetah underwear. <laughs> You'll never know what killed her. You will not, that is correct. And. Or I would not waste that arrow. Because that doesn't look promising. Shoot him in the eye. So we got. Ourselves in a little bit of a snafu here. This is where we came in. That's something right there. I feel like it's gonna be something above us almost. We were able to shoot through it and get that guy. Maybe, no. In here, I really would like to grab that switch. And there's an electrical thing there. But you know what? We can get back into here now with the time switched from the outside. So we might have to do that to see if that will affect anything. First, let me try the other ladder. No, the other ladder, there is no other ladder. It just leads you to nowhere. Alright, here we go. We are up here. This is where. Just where a second ago. Alright, so let's walk out here. See what's happening on the outside. We haven't even explored this whole ship yet with being open. So let's check it out down here. Because we still have to help his crew out down here. So let's see our situation down here. This guy's gonna take one right to the nose. Alright, wait, and one of these guys. Let's 
see if this guy can take one right to the middle of the eye and still function. No, he cannot. Crumble before me. And we did quite a bit, so bird statue. So guys, in the next episode, we will figure out what is going on. We did a lot of kind of exploring this time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember to leave a comment, leave a rating, and subscribe for more. Have a good day, guys.